After Syrian President Bashar al-Assad attacked his own people with chemical weapons last week, the world has been waiting to see if President Trump would respond with military action. And because this is a decision that could lead to an all-out war, the president announced his decision with all the gravitas it demanded. President Trump is up and firing off tweets about the situation in Syria. Russia vows to shoot down any and all missiles fired at Syria. Get ready, Russia, because they will be coming. Nice and new and smart. It's hard to see how this is anything but the president of the United States declaring war on Twitter. I feel like we joked about this, and now it's become real. Because when Trump got elected, we were like, he's going to start a war on Twitter. Ha, 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 ha. And then before he got elected, we were like, he's going to become president. Ha, ha, ha. Yeah, it turns out every joke about Trump is just a headline that hasn't happened yet. <laughs> and also, why does Trump tweet so weird? These missiles are nice and new and smart. <laughs> it sounds like he's trying to fix them up with the missiles. <laughs> it's like he's saying to the Russians, look, I know you don't like blind dates, but these missiles, they're really nice, really smart. <laughs> Just come, no pressure, it's just a launch, come on. <laughs> and now, a lot of people have pointed out that Trump used to mock President Obama for telegraphing his military decisions in advance, and now he's doing the exact same thing. But, I mean, let's be honest, at this point, Trump's hypocrisy is so unsurprising, it's not even fun anymore. Like, you see it coming, it happens, and you go, yep, you know? It's like someone handed you one of those novelty cans of nuts with the snake inside, but it was actually labeled novelty can of nuts with snake inside. <laughs> it's like... Surprise! <laughs> now, look, we could talk about how Trump isn't even seeking approval from Congress to go to war against Assad, uh, and how Congress also doesn't seem to care anymore, but we don't have time to get into that, because Trump is also thinking about launching another attack right here on American soil. CNN also learning President Trump and his team have been talking about how to get rid of Mueller for months. Monday night, President Trump suggested he may fire special counsel Mueller, and on Tuesday, White House Press Secretary Sarah Sanders said Mr. Trump believes he has that authority. We've been advised that the president uh, certainly has the power to make that decision. Okay, hold up, hold up. The White House always says that Trump doesn't plan to fire Robert Mueller. So why are you checking on something that you don't want to do? It's like seeing your coworker Googling how to dissolve my office mate's dead body. <laughs> like, he can tell you he's not planning something, but you probably want to move. <laughs> because, look, we all know, we all know that Trump has been slowly working up to firing Mueller for a long, long time. You know, it's like he's been tantric firing him. You know, he's letting it all build up and build up, <laughs> and then one day he's gonna be like, you're fired! Ah! <laughs> oh, my God, finally. Here's $130,000. Don't tell anyone about this. <laughs> and now, now, because of Trump's comments and Sarah Sanders, we have to ask ourselves if Trump is also thinking about firing Rod Rosenstein or Jeff Sessions or Gary Busey, just for old time's sake. <laughs> but we don't really have the time for that because in the middle of all this news, this crazy story popped up. Former House Speaker John Boehner is joining the board of advisors for a marijuana company called Acreage Holdings. It is one of the largest multi-state marijuana corporations in the country. Boehner, a Republican, went on the record nine years ago saying he was opposed to legalizing pot. But now he says his attitude towards it has changed, like that of many Americans out there. It's funny how going from Congress, though, to selling drugs is somehow more respectable, you know? <laughs> Like, now people are gonna be like, what's Boehner doing since he left Congress? I heard he sells weed now. Oh, that's wonderful. <laughs> it's nice he's finally helping people. <laughs> now, normally, John Boehner pushing Kush would be the day's biggest news about a House Speaker's career plans. But again, today we don't have time for that because there's also big news from the current Speaker. Also breaking this morning, House Speaker Paul Ryan will not run for re-election in November. He is the 23rd Republican to announce their retirement. This year will be my last one as a member of the House. It's been a wild ride, but it's been a journey well worth taking to be able to do my part to strengthen the American idea. Oh, <laughs> He sounds like it's his last day at camp. It's been a wild ride. So many fun memories with my friends. Like the time I tried to take away poor children's health care. <laughs> and swimming by the lake. Best summer ever. Ah. <laughs> yes, Paul Ryan, top-ranking congressman and guy at the gym who eye bangs himself in the mirror, <laughs> is stepping down. And then stepping back up and then stepping down. I guess it's legs day. Uh, and this... 
<laughs> this is a big deal. It really is a big deal. All right? Even though Paul Ryan looks young enough to play Spider-Man, you've got to remember that <laughs> he's actually been in Congress since 1999. Yeah, that was so long ago, Britney Spears hadn't even done it again yet. <laughs> yeah. She'd only done it one time. And remember, we all thought that would be the only time. We were so naive back then. <laughs> now, other than pretending that he was upset about stuff President Trump said, the thing that Paul Ryan was most famous for was his deep, sincere concern about America's national debt. We are fiscal conservatives. What that means is we believe government should not live beyond its means. The debt is projected to grow to truly catastrophic levels in the near future, leading to an economic collapse and a diminished future. Bringing our deficit up to a trillion dollars will only serve to actually weaken the dollar. I don't know what it would take for a person to completely sell out the will of the American people, sell out the federal budget, sell out our children and grandchildren. What on earth could you be given in legislation to make you vote for that? Uh, tax cuts? Oh, I got it right. I got it right. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, because... You see, after eight years of blaming President Obama for the ballooning national debt, last year when the Republicans took over the entire government under the leadership of Paul Ryan, here's what they did. The two biggest achievements for me are first, the major reform of our tax code for the first time in 36 years, uh, which has already been a huge success for this country, and that's something I've been working on in my entire adult life. New forecasts say the U.S. budget deficit will balloon in the next few years, largely thanks to the Republican tax cuts. The CBO says it'll hit a trillion dollars by 2020. Yeah, it turns out after two decades of claiming to be all about fiscal discipline, Paul Ryan exploded the deficit with his tax cuts and then just walks away. You know what this feels like? It's like, it's like you're walking in the desert with someone, and every time you take a sip of the water, he's like, hey, 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 don't waste the water. Dude, dude, not so much. Slow down, slow down. And you're like, okay, fine. Why don't you hold the canister? And he takes it, and then he's like, wet T-shirt contest! <laughs> Woo! I was like, all right, uh, now that the water is done, I'm retiring from the desert. Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye, everybody. Yeah, but I mean, look, come on, come on, let's not be haters. What's a few trillion dollars between friends, right? Just because Paul Ryan turned out to be a complete fraud doesn't mean we can't give him the send-off that he deserves. Paul Ryan is leaving us, folks. So let's pour out a 40. <laughs> 40 grams of protein, of course. <laughs> yeah. Just for him, the way he would like it. Just for you, Paul. Oh, and, and, and don't worry. Just, just like Paul Ryan's deficit, someone else is gonna have to clean this up.